welcome to the 14th episode of Unstoppable Equestrian. I'm Danielle Poulsen, Dressage Plus, and today I'm sharing with you part C of a three-part mini-series on how to create more motivation in your riding. So part C is all about excuses and how or where excuses come from and how they might be showing up for you in your riding and we'll, I will share with you a couple of examples of excuses, quite common excuses, and how you can talk through these in a more logical sense and be able to push through them. So, first I want to ask you, what are some of the main excuses you notice coming up for you in your riding? When you think about rides lately where excuses have popped up, what, what have those excuses been? And just, and just notice what you're telling yourself or saying to others that's stopping you from getting out and riding. So thinking about those, those main excuses you use, I actually want to share a little secret with you. And the secret is that your excuses that are popping up for you or showing up for you are just your BS. And I don't actually mean bullshit, although most excuses are bullshit. I actually mean your belief systems. And we all have belief systems, uh, beliefs about everything in life, obviously. Uh, but it's noticing when we're using an excuse it's noticing that it is just based around our belief system on that particular topic so whether it's um, the wind or uh, the cold or getting out and riding in the dark whatever it might be that's making you feel not motivated to get out and ride uh, that excuse is coming from a belief system and it's noticing when we're using an excuse it's, It has to be coming from a belief system that is what we call a limiting belief or a disempowering belief So it's holding you back from actually kind of taking action and taking the steps that you need to get out there and move forward so it really is about when you notice an excuse popping up for you just checking in and asking yourself okay what's the belief that I have at the moment that's allowing me to come up with this excuse and it'll generally always be a limiting belief so it's great to know that we all have control over control over all our beliefs and at any time we can choose a more empowering belief instead of the limiting belief or disempowering belief and it is about kind of taking that control and going okay I've got this limiting belief here what more empowering belief or positive belief would I like to choose instead around this topic and that's what I want to share with you I've got a couple of ex examples to share with you to hopefully help you logically think through this and use it in your own riding as well so example number one is riding in the wind so this is a big one for a lot of riders I know and so I thought a very useful one to talk through uh, so a lot of excuses that can come up about when it's a bit windy outside and you plan to ride um, I suppose a worldwide kind of limiting belief that is in horse riders is that horses are psycho in the wind or horses change in the wind or horses hate the wind and and yes sometimes horses can be a bit different in the wind but it's not a very empowering belief to have that within us if we've got to train in the wind if we've got to compete in the wind it's not going to allow us to ride at our best and stay nice and relaxed if we have that belief that our horse hates the wind. So it's looking at how can you change that belief so it's empowering and, and allows you to feel confident when you get on your horse when it's windy. Um, and one way logically I suppose I when I think about this for myself, if I think about all the rides I've had in the past on different horses over the years on windy days, um, I actually can think of more rides I've had where the horses have surprised me at how well they've actually behaved when I've gone out up onto the arena and it's blowing a gale and they're just trotting and cantering along like nothing's happening and it surprises me and when I think about it like that then I know that it's not always the belief of our horses are silly in the wind isn't always true um, I can also on the flip side think about a lot of rides I've had on the arena in perfect weather conditions and I've still had naughty horses, spooky horses, psycho horses. Um, so it doesn't, you, you just have to be careful where you draw the line. It doesn't always mean that wind equals a spooky horse and just really logically think that through. Uh, the second example I have to share with you is riding in the dark. And obviously when I say in the dark, I mean under lights on the arena. And a lot of riders I tend to hear say, oh, I don't 
don't want to ride under under lights the horses might spook with their shadow or my horse doesn't like the dark and I also want to kind of pull you up on this one as well and um, horses live in the paddock in the dark so horses can see fine and I think it's more our belief about the dark and also if for people that have ridden in the dark, you you might have already noticed this, but if you haven't I, I, and you get the opportunity to ride in the dark, I highly recommend it. For me, my belief around riding the dark is that it is, I have the best rides in the dark. Um, under the lights, I, both myself and my horse can't see outside the arena, so there's less distractions, there's less things to spook at, and for me as a rider, I am so much more focused. I'm focusing on my horse is nothing to distract me I my concentration is at the best it usually is when I'm riding my horse and is drawn into my focus and my concentration and I find I have the best rides under lights um, I really enjoy it and I know this limiting belief really helps me and motivates me to get out in the dark and ride if, if I need to uh, so it's choosing the beliefs that will help you take action on the goals you've set and help you stay motivated um, riding through winter and, and through the, the tougher times um, in our riding. So just really always checking in and, and noticing are your excuse, when excuses pop up, what's the limiting belief behind that excuse and then what can you change that, what more empowering belief can you change that into? And that's really, I suppose, the tools I want to share with you today. Really noticing that the excuse is just really coming from a limiting belief generally and being able to change that yourself you can easily do that by just um, first coming up with a more empowering belief you want to start believing instead and, and repeating it to yourself and, and reminding yourself of it so this wraps up our little mini season a uh, series sorry of uh, how to create more motivation in your riding and I hope it's really helped you if you've missed any of the videos you can go back and watch episode 12 where we talked about how to use pain and pleasure ways of thinking to create more motivation and episode 13 where I talked about uh, goal setting and planning to help bring more motivation into your riding so I hope you've enjoyed the series uh, also, I want to say if you have any questions or topics that you would like me to discuss and share in these future videos, please feel free to leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you or shoot me an email at info at dressageplus.com.au. I would yeah, also love to receive an email from you. So have a great week, guys, and enjoy your next ride. I will see you next Thursday. Bye.